Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, in this particular video, I will show you how to add dynamic up and down arrows uh, in Tableau. So for example, I have this particular field which is known as the order date. If I just put it inside the column, so these are the order dates which are present in my data. And uh, let's say I want to measure the profit. So I will just drag profit in the text, uh, in the text and I will just change it to entire view. And I will disable the tooltip for now. Say now I want to calculate the year over year difference. So I will just go over here. I will go to the quick table calculation option. And uh, I will click on this option which is year over year growth. So as you can see as, as soon as I clicked on this particular uh, quick table calculation. Uh, and I clicked on year over year growth. So it has given me this uh, the year, year over year growth. Say now I want to categorize all of these uh, various uh, various years based on various categories which are presented in my data. So I will just search for category and I will just drag drag it inside the rows uh, row shell. So these are the various categories and uh, this is the year over year percentage for uh, all of these categories. Say now I want to add the up and down arrows. For example, if the if the percentage is negative, it means that uh, then, then when compared to the previous uh, pre previous year, it has it has shown decrease in the growth. So similarly, if the percentage is positive, then when compared to the previous year, it has shown increase in the growth. So let, let me show you how we can add that dynamic up and down arrows in this. So the first way of doing is, is to create a calculated field. So I will just go over here. I will click on this create calculated field option. And uh, first of all, I will create this calculation as negative difference or we can say negative percentage. So I will just, uh, name this calculation as negative percentage and I will write the calculation as if now I will uh, press control on my keyboard and I will just drag this particular uh, uh, this particular thing this particular calculation over here inside this so this is negative it means this particular calculation should be less than zero so if this particular calculation is less than zero then after that, I need to add a down arrow. So I will just uh, go to this particular website. I will just paste the link of this particular website in uh, in the description box as well. From here, uh, so this is fsysymbols.com. So from here, you can copy paste any of the symbols you want. So as of now, I want a down symbol. So I will just uh, click on this down symbol option. So this particular symbol will, will get copied. And I will just paste it over here. And I will end this calculation. So this is the calculation for negative difference. Now, similarly, we will create uh, the a same calculation for positive difference. So what I will do is I will just right click over here and I will just duplicate this calculation. I will just go to the edit box. Now I will rename this particular calculation as positive. Uh, just a minute. Yeah, positive. And uh, in positive, it should be this should be greater than zero. So I will just change it to greater than zero. And this arrow should be upside. So I will just look for the upper side arrow. Yeah. So I will just paste this upside arrow over here, and this is the positive difference. So this particular calculation has been created. Uh, we have two calculations now: negative and positive difference. Now I will go to the text over here, and inside the text, I will uh, first enter the uh, just a minute. Before going to the text, I will just drag neg negative percentage over here in the text marks card and positive percentage also over here in the text mark card, text mark card. So as, as you can see that arrows are now appearing uh, with negative, we are able to see a down arrow and with positive, we are able to see an up arrow, but this is not looking good. So we need to format this. So for formatting this, first of all, I will go to this text, text mark card and uh, I will just arrange it in a format which I want. So first of all, I'm arranging a profit difference, then the negative percentage and the positive percentage. And now I will just align this particular text in the middle and uh, I will change it to Tableau semi bold and I will increase the font to 12 bold. Now over here uh, for, for negative, I want to show it in red. So I will just copy this much area which is for negative and I will just change the color to red and over here for this much area which is in positive I, I want this particular text to be shown in the green color so I will just change it to green okay 
Now, as a next step, I will click on uh, this apply button. So as you can see, these text has been changed. So wherever the uh, percentage is in negative, we are able to see a down red arrow and wherever the percentage is in positive, we are able to see a up green arrow. Now I will uh, format it a bit more. Uh, so I will just click over here. I will go to the format option uh, and I will go to this alignment option and I will just align this plane, plane in the middle so that we have all the values in the middle. And I will also change the formatting, uh, the text of this particular uh, header. Yeah. So this is the final result we have got. So as you can see, this was the first way of creating the a dynamic up and down arrows in Tableau. So with, with negative percentage, we are able to see a down red arrow and with positive percentages, we are able to see uh, an up green arrow. So this was the first method. Now the second way of doing, uh, doing this is, I will just uh, duplicate this particular sheet and I will just rename this particular sheet to second method. So the second way of uh, uh, the second way of doing is, this is I will just remove these calculation because now we don't want to do it in this way. So I will just remove this negative percentage and positive percentage from here. So as you can see, the arrows have also been removed. Now as a next step, I will just go over here and uh, now I will go to the format option. I will go to the numbers and I will go to the custom option. So over here, if we go to the custom option, then we can arrange a number as we want. So over here, uh, for the positive positive uh, numbers, I will just click, I will just uh, arrange it 0, 0.00 percentage. And I want an up arrow with the positive, positive one. So I will just copy paste this up arrow from this website. Uh, yeah. And I will just enter a semicolon. And with negative percentages, I want a down arrow. So I will just write minus 0, 0.00 percent. And uh, I will just copy paste this down arrow from this website. So now it will give me a down arrow with all the negative percentages. So as, so as you can see, we have got this. Uh, so over here with the negative percentages, we are able to see a down, down arrow and with positive percentages, uh, we are able to see an up arrow. So this was all about this video guys. Thank you so much.